What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another chill video. In the previous video, we talked about all things new in Ghetto. And this one, I just wanted to talk about one important feature that I've always been waiting for that could be coming in the later versions of Godot 4. Um, at the time of recording this right now, this current feature that I'm about to talk about is currently in a feature freeze. Um, but it should be available in the future versions of Godot once Godot 4 actually releases. Um, so do expect it at some point in time. It might not just be immediately when Godot releases or launches, but it could be and it could not be. But it is a feature that's most definitely coming. It is a feature that I have most definitely been waiting for. And if you guessed it already from the title of this video, yes godot is going to be able to support multi windows and to demonstrate that right now if we go down to create a gd script i'm gonna just create like a demo gd script for instance uh i don't know let's just call this something i don't even know what to call it but let's just say you have this right here right and then you wanted to code whilst still being able to see the scene right but then you wanted to do so on a different monitor right oh well, guess what <laughs> you can and i'm right now i'm running a I, I dev build of the, the Godot 4 engine. Uh, it's not the public build, it's the dev build, which you get from contributing and everything from that stuff um, on GitHub. So what you gotta do now is just put this in full screen mode and this will be, well, you can just drag it to another window on your computer, but then what you're seeing right now is a separate window in which you can actually write your GD script code. And if I just go to another window right here, y'all can see that this is my scene and I can basically just navigate around my scene whilst I'm coding on a separate window, right? Like if you have double monitors or something like that, this feature could be really, really, really useful for you. Whereby if you may be coding shaders, for instance, let's just say for example, you're coding a shader. Well, you can just code your shader right here and then boom, come to another, you know, look at your shader being, you know, updated in real time on another monitor or whatever, I guess uh, you may call it. But then do know that this feature is in... Um, a feature freeze for those who know what that means um so it's not yet available but it might just be merged uh, onto the main branch in the coming future once godot 4 actually launches or just after another you know mini update to the godot 4 engine but then other than that it is a feature that's coming and it is something that i actually wanted to share with you guys just so you know that the dev team is actually working on some pretty pretty good features for you guys in the future so um yeah i hope you like this little video and if you want me to go into deeper things as well you know just let you guys know what's coming ahead of time um do hit me up in the comment section below and uh there's quite a lot of things to talk about but then if you really want me to go deeper and all of that stuff um yeah do hit me up um, I'm, I'm very, very close to reading the documentations and, you know, just being behind the scenes on everything the Do 4. Um, so, yeah, I, I know what's popping. I know what's coming. So if you want me to, like, you know, do a little bit of a, you know, a nice Do 4 series about what's coming, what's new and um, things that used to be broken, like you want me to talk about things that used to be broken that are now fixed, stuff like that, you know, just hit me up in the comment section and I'll cover those, you know. Um, but then, yeah, man, I hope you guys are having a very good December and I'll see you guys on the next video. Cheers.